engineer explain how things work. From young, I've always been very curious about how things work. Uh, I took apart standing fan, I took apart electric kettle, and I, uh, I look at how they work and I put them back together and they work. And for example, recently, I took apart a ceiling lighting unit. I repair it, I standing on a stool, I repair it, and then I put it back together and it worked. So from young, I've always been interested in, in how things work. And uh, during my secondary school holiday, I took on factory production jobs. I actually worked in a factory and I was able to see how products are produced round the clock. Uh, in that particular factory, they actually were having sheet metal painted, cut and bent into containers. Like for example, paint containers. So to me, that was actually very fascinating. And that experience was very pivotal when I subsequently later on had to choose a course after my A-level. And naturally, I chose engineering as the uh, course. And that's how my passion for engineering came about. As an undergraduate, the most memorable incident was when uh, I received two book prizes. I topped the class among all the boys uh, in two subjects, in manufacturing processes and in two engineering. Uh, as a postgraduate, that means as a PhD student, what was my most memorable incident? In 1994, when I had to present to a whole room of international researchers and academics uh, from the International Academy of Production Engineering. And I was only a young PhD researcher in my second year of research and I was presenting to them and I, and I received good feedback and comments from them. So that was very memorable to me, very unforgettable. As for my achievement as a women engineer, well, in uh, 2009, I received the uh, Emerging Leaders Award from the US Society for Women Engineers. And uh, that actually is a very re uh, uh, it's a recognition of my work as a female engineer, as a female academic. And uh, the most recent was a recognition in 2012, where I was elected a fellow of the International Academy for Production Engineering. And I'm actually the fourth woman in the world to be elected a fellow of this academy. Uh, I work in augmented reality, uh, in the application of augmented reality in manufacturing, in uh, assistive technology devices, in rehabilitation engineering. And uh, this is very fascinating. Now, what is augmented reality? It's actually a human machine interface where virtual content, whether it's movie, graphics, sound, audio, and so forth, are augmented onto the real environment to uh, to enhance the environment. And in this particular area, for example, we use augmented reality in assistive technology devices. And to do that, we are, we are able to develop assistive technology devices that can help the physically disabled, help the elderly. And for example, this data glove that we have. Now, this data glove is used for rehabilitation engineering. We actually use augmented reality with ubiquitous computing and we develop virtual interface that can allow the elder, elderly or the uh, physically disabled to operate electrical devices like, for example, a computer, for example, a television at home, for example, uh, an air condition, a fan. And that actually allow them to be independent. Now, that also reduces the uh, load on the caregiver because the caregiver then doesn't have to be around all the time. The elderly can be very independent in carrying out his or her ability. And uh, to be able to see our devices being used by the physically disabled, and the elderly is actually a very satisfying feeling.